Today I'm going to show you how to connect a microphone with a 3.5mm input like this MIC JK044 microphone to a Zoom H6. Coming up, roll the intro. Hey name Tags and welcome, this is Ash from Hill My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. Now I have done a very quick unboxing and setup of this Zoom H6. I'm currently still kind of playing with it, so I'm not an expert in uh, doing a full tutorial, but this will come soon, hopefully, okay? Now if you're new here, please consider subscribing and enabling the bell icon notification so you will be informed of my future videos. Thank you so much. Also a disclaimer that all the equipment I'm going to use today have been bought with my own money and there will be affiliate links from Amazon so if you do buy from me using my link it will uh, enable me to get a small kickback on the channel but it will not cost you anything extra so it's a win-win for everyone so please consider supporting the channel all right also currently I am not recording into the Zoom H6 I am recording into its little brother this is the Zoom H1 not the H1N the Zoom H1 but I'm using the exact same microphone which is the MIC JK044 and I think I've put the input level at 50 here on 48 and 24 and I might do some post um, for the audio effects now let's get cracking there are two ways you can connect a microphone with a 3.5 millimeter jack input to the Zoom H6 now why would you want to do this um, although this is designed predominantly for XLR input they go four here there's also doubles up as a one quarter inch input and if you take this off we can also have an additional extension with two additional XLR inputs so all together uh, six right but sometimes you may find that you might need to use a simple 3.5 millimeter microphone like this JK. Now this could also work for most other microphones. I've actually tested it with two other. One is a Boya BY M1 and the other one is a 10 pound generic microphone from Amazon. Both links will be in the description below. So as far as I'm concerned, this can be done with almost any uh, microphone with 3.5. Also, this is the 3.5 millimeter TRS version. There are TS versions and I think there are adapters for mobile phones as well. So do bear that in mind. All right, so two ways to connect. First one is the easy one. On the default XY stereo mic, input on top there is a 3.5 millimeter input jack okay by default if you plug anything in there it will not work so we turn the power on and uh, to enable the channel up there we can select left and right right and this will activate the top microphone but run up because we've connected this if it had worked it would have activated this part okay now as you can see if I tap Tap, 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 tap. Nothing is registering on the meter here. All right. So I'm going to zoom in and we go into the setting to show you a couple of changes we need to do. All right. First thing you need to do is go to menu on the side. Okay. And then go down using the select button to input and output. And go down to plug-in power and by default is on off you want to select that to on and go back and now as you can see it's registering some audio input tap 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 and there you go you now have uh, input top 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 testing one two three testing one two three all right um obviously we've selected LR for this channel. This is now being bypassed because we're using the 3.5 millimeter input jack. Okay, so that's one way. What this does, it delivers a 2.5 volt approximately to these low powered condenser microphones. So any microphones in theory uh, should work the same way, right? Now, what if you didn't want to use this because it's of this? Sometimes you may be in a situation where you want to keep the top microphone to record reference audio or as a backup audio and you're using XLR input or another microphone. Now there is another way of doing this, okay? For this one, you're going to need to have an adapter, which is this. This is the Rode 3.5mm to XLR adapter, 3.5 on one end, XLR on the other end. So I'm going to use XLR input number four, right? 
plug that in there okay again by default if I just plug in the microphone and select four tap 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 nothing okay so what we need to do is to give it some power so go into menu you want to go to phantom and you want to make sure that the phantom is on so go to your track number four and select on all right because of the channel number four now go back what one more thing to do is the voltage for this you have to select 12 volt okay and make sure you don't put it on 24 or 48 that's too much 12 volt should be fine as long as it's ticked and now hopefully we should see some movement on the green meter when we do tap 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 there we go and uh, this is now on five let me turn the gear down a bit to four ish now testing one two three testing one two three there you go this is now working okay and those are two ways that you can actually um, connect a 3.5 millimeter microphone input to this uh, zoom h6 now i've only tested three microphones but i believe you probably can use this for most microphones with low power voltage that require a small input of battery for example like the boya by m1 okay so there you go guys and this was a very simple um instruction tutorial if you've benefited from it leave me a comment leave me a like consider subscribing and enable the bell icon notification and if you want me to do a full review on the zoom h6 after i've uh, mastered it a bit more i will do this thank you so much for watching this was ash from hill my tech helping you go from newbie to techie until next time peace out